These are 16 Roblox rival tips and tricks to outsmart your enemies. Huh? For number one, we have a tip with grenade. It's called grenade jump. I normally see people throwing the grenade and then jumping on it. But this is completely wrong. What you have to do is hold the shoot button and turn around and let the bomb explode. This will boost you and help you get behind the enemy and kill them. Using this trick, you can get cool clips just like this one. For number two, we have a tip that will help you instantly. Go into your settings, scroll down till you find camera FOV. Make sure you turn that up to the max. The difference between both is incredible and you will be able to see a lot more enemies. For number three, we have another tip that will help you instantly. Go into your settings again and click on the crosshair tab. Here, I want you to turn on static crosshair. All this does is make your crosshair not move around much so you can focus on your enemy instead of moving your crosshair. For number four, there is a mistake that every player makes. It involves the scythe. Normally, what people do is they switch mid fight to the scythe, to dash. This is completely wrong. What you have to do is while you're fighting, what you do is you press the quick melee button and then you hit the aim button at the same time. This will make you scythe dash and switch to your gun right away. This is way faster than doing it one at a time. For tip number five, make sure you don't stand still and please don't beat this guy. An easy way to improve is to follow the simple setup. Slide, jump, and repeat. An easy way to practice this is to hop into the shooting range and slide in between a pillar and practice your sliding plus aiming. This will make you 10 times harder to hit. For tip number six, everyone hates the katana because sometimes things like this can happen. But did you know you can counter the katana using either the exogun or the slingshot? And if you don't have either of these two guns, what you can do is you can always just go in with your fist, sight, or any other melee item. This is pretty OP if you ask me. Another OP thing is clicking the link in the description and buying my merch. It's only 15 Robux. For number 7, we have a tip for almost every gun in the game. In this clip, you can see I beamed the crap out of this guy, and then I reloaded quickly using this bug. In the end, I won the fight with zero bullets left in my mech. To do the bug, what you have to do is hit the reload and then wait till the reload sign disappears and the timer sign appears. Then you switch quickly to your other weapon and then switch back. This is way faster than reloading normally. For number eight, we have a tip with trowel. It's called trowel tech. And with the trowel, what you can do is hit thick clips like this one. So to do this, Place your wall and go over to the edge. Hit a 180 flick with the shoot button onto the corner of the wall. This should launch you up and send you straight into the air giving you height advantage. Trowel tech is one of the most hardest mechanics to learn in Rivals. You are gonna mess up like a thousand times but eventually you will get it down. For number 9 we have a tip for destroying hackers. What you need is katana, subspace trip mine. And if you can't afford subspace trip mine, grenade is a good alternative. The reason why you should choose katana is because you can do this to hackers. Here is an in-game clip where I was on my 90 second win streak and I ended up running into a hacker. I got really lucky that this hacker was more garbage at the game than my dead grandma. Next round, the hacker locked it in and ended up just beating me barely. The score was 2-3 to three and things were not looking good for my 92 win streak. So, you know I had to lock it in as well. Come on. Oh my, oh my Sigma skimmity of them all. Come on. Go crazy. Oh, let's go. Let's nice go. Nice go. Wait, let's go. Oh my god, he's so low. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Keep in mind that I only got lucky that the hacker I was versing, he was trash at the game. You will run into hackers that you cannot beat. For tip number 10, we have a trick that will catch your enemies off guard. Every single game, what you have to try to do is switch loadouts frequently so that you can catch your enemy off guard. If you're using a shotgun and the enemy is using a sniper, what we should do is we should probably switch loadouts or else they have the range advantage and you will end up losing. So another thing you should do is also pick loadouts based on the map. 
using snipers in back rooms is just a devious plan. Instead, you should use a rocket launcher or a shotgun. For tip number 11, we have a tip with the worst gun in the game. This is for all of you bow mains. Make sure to combine the fists with the bow to get the triple jump. The fists already give you a double jump, but if you combine it with the bow, you can get a cool triple jump, which makes your movement unexpected and you can hit cool clips just like this one. Tip number 12, we have a tip for all the noobs. I see a lot of people ADSing and ADSing is bad thing to do. Number one, it slows down your movement and number two, you become an easier target for the enemy because your movement is trash. But in this next tip, I was not ADSing and my aim was on point as well as my movement. For tip number 13, we have a glitch that gives you free wins. On the map construction, everyone knows that you can climb up the crane. However, you have been doing it wrong your entire life. Instead, what you can do is do this cool glitch slash bug where if you place a subspace trip mine and you stand on it while using the trowel, what you can do is you can send yourself into space and landing on top of the crane. Doing this, you can catch your enemies way off guard. Keep in mind, if you keep doing this, your enemy will become aware, but it always works in the first couple of rounds because your enemy does not expect you to be on top of the crane right away. For tip number 14, we have a tip for every melee in the game. With fists, you have a special ability to double jump and you get a 5% speed boost. With knife, you have the special ability to deal 150 damage or one-shot people if you end up backstabbing them and you get the speed boost of 10%. With the katana, you have the special ability to reflect damage and the speed boost is 0%. With the scythe, you have the special ability to dash and the speed boost is also 0%. With chainsaw, you have two abilities. One is mowing down people at insane speeds and another is a crazy speed boost with the chainsaw. But chainsaw also has minus 10% speed boost if you're not using the ability. With trowel, you have the special ability to build and you had the 10% speed buff. For tip number 15, if you're getting low on HP and your enemy has more HP than you, remember that you can always draw the game. Here are some spots where I hide when I'm trying to draw the game. Keep in mind that these hiding spots will not always work. Also, make sure you don't draw back to back because you're just gonna give the enemy a free round win. Tip number 16, if you wanna deal extra damage to the enemy, what you should do is look out for these explosive barrels. They do 75 damage, which is half of the enemy's HP. Explosive barrels are broken, so use them to your advantage. I have a secret bonus tip for you guys, and it's to smash that subscribe button and peace.